Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. So today I'm headed off to the bins. Yes, this is a haul video, but as I've kind of done a bit recently, I am going to put just a smidge, just a little bit of thrift with me footage in if I happen to find something like fun or funny or funky. So today actually when I'm going to the bins, it's Monday, the 6th of November, and it is Ryan's birthday. So happy belated birthday to Ryan. He unfortunately has to work, but don't feel too bad because it is really nice. He at school has conferences today, so he didn't have to go in until noon. So it's actually like, it's literally 12 o'clock exactly right now. So we parted ways, but he was able to sleep in. We took the dogs on a walk this morning and we he opened his gifts and stuff for me. So he had a good morning and he said he's been having a really good day so far. This is best case scenario for work on your birthday. I'm headed off to the bins. One of my major goals is just get a lot of stuff to consign. I have been trying to consign my butt off lately. Otherwise, kind of the same goals as I had for our Tuesday video when we went to the consignment stores. Like I'd love to just get sweaters. I'd love to get some cashmere maybe some j crew cashmere is a specific goal i have maybe i'm gonna keep rolling with that weird goal i've had of finding blue black or purple label ralph lauren oh my gosh like it's like a ralph lauren bruise blue black and purple interesting color choice now that i think about that so i'm actually going to be since it is noon now i'm gonna be a bit later to the bins than i have been ever i usually go like about 10 o'clock so going at noon is a bit different and that means I'm also gonna stay longer because actually Ryan will be staying at school later today than he usually does. I will probably stay until like the last rotation. So we're gonna see, do they keep the good stuff for the end of the day or is there nothing good at the end of the day? I don't know, I'm never there past like 2.30, maybe three. So I'll probably stay till they kick me out and we're just gonna see how that goes. So wish me luck, see you guys when I get there. Well, my first weird find was this tiny little Teletubby. Look at those eyes. There is nothing behind them, which I guess is a good thing. This was also pretty cute. Two young kids must have made a BFF hoodie. I thought that was adorable. And last but not least, Mary Murder. Santa Claus is apparently up to no good. Hello, everyone. <sighs> Another Thursday, another bins haul, and another really good bins haul at that. So today I do have a bins haul for you guys once again. I know it's so surprising, it's so shocking, but I went to the bins this week on Monday, as you guys just saw in that small clip. It was Ryan's birthday, so once again, I would like to wish Ryan a happy late birthday. We had a really nice relaxing little birthday for him, and we went to this really fancy restaurant because we got a gift card for our wedding for this restaurant super fancy super nice and it was super fun and we went to a brewery for lunch and stuff all kinds of fun on his birthday also i went to the bins on his birthday because he did have to work a little so i also worked a little and i found some really 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 fantastic stuff including the thing that you saw in the thumbnail even though you didn't really fully see it you just kind of have an idea of its value and what kind of item it is i do want to say a special thank you to a viewer of ours named stephanie who is at the bins when I was there, she handed me a lot of things that are very, very, very good. I will point out the pieces that Stephanie gave me. I found some good stuff in the end too, but she's an amazing person. Like she gave me some really good stuff. She said a lot of times she will like listen to us on the way to the bin. So then it's funny when she gets there and we are actually like there. Hello, Stephanie. And thank you so much. I'm going to jump into the haul. I've got quite a lot of stuff to show you guys. First up, let's start with a bag that I found that I just realized is ripped. So I probably will just end up getting rid of and then some shoes. Luckily, I only paid like a dollar for this. I found this Dagny Dover. So Dagny Dover is a freaking fantastic brand to find. It does so well. It's kind of like MZ Wallace-esque where it's kind of like a travel, more utilitarian bag, but they're very expensive. This has spots and stains kind of throughout, like at the front and then the corners have some. And that was okay with me, but now I'm realizing that. 
this. That's not very okay with me. Uh, like I said, I paid literally a dollar for this, so I will probably end up having to donate this because I don't even want to take pictures of it to list it for like 10 or $15. So that's too bad, but keep Dagny Dover in your mind. And if only this crossbody had a Dagny Dover logo on it, then I could sell the crossbody. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with that yet. Okay. Next up, I think this is my only pair of shoes. They have some sticker on them. These are some like croc embossed Chelsea boots. These are so adorable. They've got quite a lugged bottom to them and they are like new condition. They are a size seven. And these are a brand that I don't usually pick up no matter what style I find nowadays, but I really liked these. So these are Lucky Brand boots. You probably can't really see that, but trust me, these are Lucky Brand. These are called the Emali, and like I said, they're a seven. So they're actually Debbie size, but I have never seen Debbie in Croc embossment. I didn't have any like good bags with me, so this is all just kind of like heaped together. Let's start with this little bag. So first up is J. Crew. This is an older J. Crew piece. It's actually from 2010. It's a size large. I have a feeling that this is is most likely a men's item. This is a large and based on like the sleeve length, I really think that this is men's. It's actually 100% like lamb's wool. So I'm gonna try to sell this myself. And it also has this like Tom Brown-esque double stripe to the sleeve, which I think is so cute. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but it definitely is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. It's super nice wool. It's not like pilly at all or anything. So I actually do really like that. I ran to this bin when this rolled out. I had no clue what it was, but I knew I wanted it basically no matter what it was. So it is this pattern block wool houndstooth skirt. Front pockets are matching the waistband in houndstooth color, but the rest is kind of like more of a blue gray houndstooth. And it ended up being J. Crew, which is fine. I would have got this no matter what mall brand it was. I would have got it if it was a luxury brand, of course, a mid-tier designer. I only would have skipped it if it was like Target. I'm so obsessed with the like wool pattern block, color block situation. That's really popular right now, even though this is from 2016. I'm just obsessed with it. So I love this skirt. So cute. It reminds me of, there's a Veronica Beard blazer that looks just like that. Avec Lafie has a blazer that looks just like that. The Target and Rowing Blazers Club made pieces that look just like that. This was a really good find. This is a very good find. <laughs> and as, did I say that in the video? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I said that in the beginning that this was one of my goals now that I think about it. So I did find a black label Ralph Lauren piece in the bins. So it had been at a Goodwill for 15, which I would have paid for it. Black label Ralph Lauren, that is the second most expensive line of his. And it is this super freaking cute, quilted, just like classic jacket. Is this called like a fisherman jacket or something? I, or just like a workman's jacket? I don't exactly know. It's polyester, which is fine. It's black label and that's all I care about. This thing probably retailed for like $800. It's a really nice color too. I really like this. I think it's men's or no, no, I don't. Do I? No, I don't think it's men's. I know that it's women's. So this is a women's coat, women's large. I don't know what it is with me and the Ralph Lauren black, purple and whatever labels lately, but I've been wanting to find them. And then I have been finding them. Someone explain that. I don't really know why that keeps happening. All right, all right. We got a classic pair of black leggings almost kind of a faux leather-ish look. They're kind of like shimmery, though it's not really faux leather. It's just, it's the material. They're by Zaya. I haven't found Zaya in forever and I love to find it, especially at the bins. These are size eight to 10. Just classic high rise black leggings. Those should do quite good. I do still love Zaya. Speaking of Zaya, I knew that these would be as soon as I saw them because I've had these in red before. They're this like lightly leopard printed high rise legging as well. Pardon the window sun line. That always bugs me when it shows up. And clearly I need to figure out a different time to film. So this is also Zaya eight to 10. The inside's kind of worn out for some reason, but the back, oh my gosh. And now we have like a fleet of helicopters going over. So eight to 10, the back label is not like worn off though. So I, these are probably from like the same person. We have a pair of Levi's shorts and these are button fly and they are Barbie pink. So these are super cute. I honestly do not like to find colored Levi's pants or shorts, or like jeans or shorts, but I'll take Barbie pink with how popular it's been lately. These are the 501s. Oh, they're actually the quality denim too. 
and they are a size 25. So I will take the Barbie pink if I have to find Levi's in a color. We've got a free people piece and this is a free people size medium. And this is either a tunic or a mini dress or sometimes honestly free peoples are actually both. So it's this super kind of classic free people look, very bohemian, floral embroidered black dress tunic. I think I've had this before, yet I can't remember if it's a dress or a tunic. I'm fairly certain it's one of those ones that can be either. Next up is actually not, oh, I have two things that are not pieces of clothing. First one is this pillowcase. Can you guess who it's by? Yes, Lily Pulitzer, I heard all of you say that out loud right at the exact same time. So this is Pottery Barn Lily Pulitzer collaboration. As you can see right there. This is from what year? It's a 26 by 26 pillow sham. It is cotton. This is from 2018. So I did look and see if I could find another one. Here's the other side. It's like a coral kind of diamond quilt. I looked if there was another one and I did not see another one. So I only have this one, but that's okay. I have actually found Lily Pulitzer Pottery Barn before, but it was like kids bath towels. So this is a much better piece to find. And then weirdly, I found this rug, Ooh. this rug, this mat. The only reason I looked at it was because it was laying all folded up and this was sitting up. So I found an anthro rug in the bins. You know how freaking expensive anthro rugs are? So Ryan and I will probably keep this. It's also gray and white, so it goes with a lot of the color palettes that I have in this house. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I was really excited to find that. I was like, no way. Next up, we have another pair of Levi's shorts and another pair of 501s but these are just like classic wash, distress. These ones are a size 28, but they are button fly once again. It's a very classic, nice pair. They do, those sell for me all year. They definitely sell for less than they used to, but they still sell and they sell all year. One of the vintage people threw this back and I grabbed it right away. These are some so cute wide leg jeans, super high rise, super wide leg. And these are actually by BDG. I could tell by the button. I don't even think there's a BDG label on the inside. I only checked the button, but they're called the high and wide and they're size 32. And I'm assuming these are women's because of how high they are. Also, like, it doesn't really matter. Then we have a swim top, which I do not like picking up swim, as you guys know, but this is so adorable. So it's almost Missoni looking, but it's not Missoni, trust me. It's just this, like, metallic, triangular, striped swim top, and it is by Becca. So Becca is a pretty expensive swim brand, so if you find a cute piece like this, it's good to pick up. This is very like 70s fun swim to me, so I liked that one. Then we have a vintage blazer. This might be the only one that I picked up on this trip, and it's just this very nice structured wool vintage blazer. It's like a very light gray with blue and kind of yellowy gold stripes to it. I love the detail of the lining only going like halfway down. There's something so like bougie to that. I feel like all the bougie blazers that I personally own have that. I mean, not all of them, but some of them. I just like that look with the like, you can see the inside of the wool. But this is by a brand called The Livery. The Livery? No clue. Doesn't really matter. It's a good size though. It is a size 38 originally. So it's kind of like a men's maybe like boxy medium and a woman's like oversized large which is really the size of vintage blazer that I do really like to find. This is a really good vintage piece. And this I did find myself. So we have not got to any of the Stephanie stuff yet. This was actually the lining, like the zip out lining to this really nasty coat. <laughs> well, it was just not like, it wasn't gross. It just was really, really old and really, really dated. But the lining had so much potential and was so cute that I like ran up to it and zipped it out and stole this. It is this Farm Rio-esque vintage quilted vest jacket. It even has its own pockets. So it was totally made to be able to be removed and used on its own. It's actually by the brand Donnie Brook, which I have seen many times in vintage coats. This is a medium, but holy mother, this thing is so cute and so old. The only thing, honestly, if I had found this separate, the only thing that tells me how old it is, is how they did this really like ribbed quilt to the neck, like collar. 
I feel like old coats do that a lot. Otherwise, like the coat or the, the vest doesn't look old at all. Thank goodness, honestly, that it was in the coat so that I could like date it better. Cause this is probably like from the eighties, but otherwise I honestly would have had no clue, but I love that thing. <laughs> then we have a cabbie piece and it is the not as old cabbie label, size medium cabbie. This is like a belted raw hem denim jacket. This is really cute. And people list it really high, like 75 or something. But I mean, people always over list cabbie. It shows that it has potential and I think it's a good size and it's cute and it's very good for the season. And obviously like denim jackets are so timeless. This was like my last find when I was leaving. This is so, so, so cute. So cute. I don't know why someone didn't want this. But this is a cropped, chunky, cable knit, very, very, very new J. Crew cardigan. And yes, that label looks like old, but trust me, that's actually like the newest label. This is from 2023. It has this B on it. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I don't know if it's supposed to be there, but either way, I really thought I could come up with another pun about that, but I can't. This is from spring 2023, so it's really new. So cute. I looked at the model picture and I honestly just didn't look close enough if it had the bee in it. Either way, I think the bees are really cute, like little academia edition. So I'm really excited about that. Here is one thing that Stephanie did give me. It is Lafayette 148. Didn't she was like, didn't you say in a video that like this is not worth paying up for, but it's good to find the bins. And I was like, we absolutely did say that. So she threw me this jacket. There's like a little bit of discoloring to the cuffs and sleeves and stuff, but honestly, it's Lafayette 148 in the bins. So I will take it. I'll probably just like not list it super high. I mean, you know, the retail on this is like hundreds of dollars. So of course I was willing to take it from her. Then we have a Madewell piece and this is actually texture and thread by Madewell. It is a 2X, so it's a great size. It's this like olive color flare sleeve, kind of like scallop lattice hem, just top. I've had this before. I think a couple times. Never in a size like this. Then we have another pair of Levi's, but this time it's actually jeans, but we have more 501s. These 501s are a size 28 with a 32 inch inseam. They are button fly. And I really like the wash of these. They're like a very classic, like mid wash. I actually really like that they're not distressed at all. I'm getting so tired of distressed jeans. I just feel like any of my distressed jeans do not do nearly as good as my just like straight up classic jeans. So honestly, I will still pick up distressed jeans because like there are still really cute styles sometimes, but I don't know. They just don't do as good. I would prefer intact jeans like that. We have a smart wool and this smart wool is when Nitwit had been part of Smart Wool. Because if you remember last haul, we found a really old Smart Wool where Nitwit hadn't been born yet. But this is a size large and it's this like cowl neck purple sweater. There's actually no holes in it. And it's not like pilly or anything. I can tell it's a base layer because it's a really like thin but very nice wool, which is how their base layers are. So I was very excited to find that. I love finding smart wool and I never do. I will take it anytime. I'm just done with this small bag of stuff. I think about halfway through, I will show you the amazing item that I had in the thumbnail. This is actually a free people and I think it's, I don't think, I know it's really old. Free people size four. This is probably when they first started using the metal tag, probably. It is this like cap sleeve peacock feather, little gold, Y2K top. Let me see if I can just do this top button because I honestly don't even really know what this looks like. She's a bit confusing, but this is pretty close to what it's supposed to look like. Somehow there's a pussy bow at the neck. There also is this like cinch tie at the back, but I think this is so cute. It'll probably do really good on Depop, but of course it'll do good on Posh too. Some of the Y2K Anthrin Free People does really good, so I don't mind finding it. Then we have another Free People, and though I need to steam the life out of these sleeves. They're doing that like accordion thing. I never understand how that happens, 
but like it happens to flannels sometimes. But this is a free people size extra small and it's just this flannel. But what I really, really like about it is that it has all this embroidery on the back and actually it was on the front too. It goes all the way down the front and on the back, it's just kind of on the shoulders and then it's on the other side of the front too. It's very like Johnny was looking. Hoping I can get those sleeves to be in slightly better shape. They maybe were kind of supposed to be like that, but they kind of went crazy. Next, we have a lag and look piece. And this lag and look piece is a brand that I've had a couple times. This is Comfy USA. Anytime I've had it, it does really good. So I am excited to find it. This is a size large. These are some really cute wide leg pants. So they have like stripes going sideways and stripes going up and down on both sides. They are very stretchy. There's a big elastic band on the back, super nice. And like I said, anytime I've had it, it does really good. So I do really like to find comfy. So if you don't know comfy, write it down. Mm, let's do one more and then I'm gonna show you the really good find. This might be for me. This might be put into our Halloween costume bin. This might be kind of like embellished and then sold. I haven't really decided yet and I haven't decided if I have enough talent to do that last option. It's by California Dynasty. It's like an intimates and robe brand that's really old but it's not like good. This is a velvet robe but it's like a blue velvet with like red undertones. So depending on which way you turn it and like bend, it looks kind of red, purple, and blue. I don't know, it probably is. It's probably because the lining is red and the velvet itself is blue, maybe? But it's just like the coolest. There, you, when it's like kind of in a pile, you can see the color effect better. It is so cool. And I thought this would look really, really awesome if it had like some stars and moons on the back or something, like if I got patches, but I don't think I'm talented enough. So we will see what happens with that. Let's talk about the puffer. So this puffer is so, 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 so expensive and so nice. This is a brand that Many of you might not know, so hopefully the Bolo notebooks are sitting out or are near you. Grab a pen. This is definitely on tier with like finding Canada Goose. It's just not as known of a brand, I would say, though I definitely knew about it. And when I saw it, I leaped at it. I don't think anyone in my bin knew this because it was kind of just sitting at the top of one and no one had grabbed it. Let's start off with what it is. So it's this puffer coat. This puffer coat does have a hole in the arm. I did know that. I didn't mean to put it right in front of my face. That's the only flaw with this. So this puffer coat, the exterior is a silk and cashmere blend, if that tells you anything. It is real down. The brand on this is Erno, and it says made in Italy. So I'm surprised it didn't stand up to anyone to grab and look at. Maybe they just saw the hole in the arm. All the zippers say Erno on them. This little thing on the back said Erno on it. This snaps, I'll say Erno. I was gonna say I'd love for you guys to guess the retail, but I know that I put it in the thumbnail. It is somehow Pickensia Clima protected. And then it has like this down like guarantee on it. Your down is produced with one of the most innovative padding techniques, which makes them extremely light, soft, and appealing, injected with ultra light goose down. Um, even the inside of the zippers also say air no. So anyways, this coat retails for over $2,000. I have not found the exact one yet, but other ones that are cashmere and silk are about like 2185. So I would guess that this is about a like 21, 2200 dollar retail puffer coat, which is fantastic. So in other words, this is one of my best bins finds recently. And honestly, one of my best bins finds ever. Yes, Mike is in the room if you saw that. So this is literally one of my best bins finds I've ever had. <laughs> Which is pretty wild. Every time I have one of my best bin finds ever, to just like then after be like, oh, yeah, I guess that was one of my best I've ever had is just kind of crazy. Part of me wants to keep this because my puffer coat is in not good shape. It gets so dirty every year. And obviously like you need actual nice puffer coats in Minnesota. Part of me wants to just send it into the real world because they market really well. Part of me wants to sell it myself. I don't really know. I haven't decided if I want to repair that hole. It's already been patched, but it's kind of like re-splitting. I haven't decided. Write air no down or keep it in your mind. It is such a good brand. Okay, we're gonna go really quick through the end of this because I 
will not make this one a two-parter. I refuse to. We got some athletic pants. These are some cotton joggers. I've had these a number of times and even in this color. These are the Feralin jogger. They also come in shorts. These are six petite, so hopefully they'll still do okay even though they're petite. These are a very modern athleta style, so I think they'll do great. Another Stephanie find. Stephanie gave me this St. John piece. This is like the oldest St. John label I have ever seen in my life. And I can tell this is like an actual wool St. John, which now I feel like they are usually like blends of just a little bit of wool. It's really cute, really classic. I love these like square buttons, very like retro. So I will be listing this myself. I don't know what for yet, but I, yeah, will sell that myself instead of like consigning it or anything. This was a me find and this was a really good find. So this is another free people piece and this is a lot large free people. This is like a jumpsuit denim boiler suit situation. So it's got a lot of pockets at the front, very utilitarian. And then it's kind of like a slim leg. I would not call it skinny, but definitely not wide either. So like a slim leg. This is so nice. And this is something I'd be really excited to like find at a consignment store or at a Goodwill. So to find this in the bins was really exciting. We have another Athleta piece. And this is Athleta. This is the Cabo Linen 4 inch short. And these are a size six. Just some classic newer Athleta. Really nice. Get ready for this one. I can't spend too much time on all this stuff because I gotta get this done, but this is so cute. It is a vintage sweater vest and it could not have fallen into my ownership at a better time. And yes, Ryan wanted to keep it and I kind of did too, but it is too small for either of us. So it is Robert Scott. This is 100% Shetland wool spun in Scotland. It's a size 36. And it is a Christmas wreath sweater vest made of Shetland wool from Scotland. This is so nice. This is so cute. So seasonally appropriate. There's a tiny pinhole or like moth hole right at the bottom of the graphic here. This looks so like the original Grinch cartoon is the vibe that I get from this wreath. I'm obsessed with this. I was like, uh, humana, 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 Love that. We have an Urban Outfitters piece that I am gonna try myself instead of giving to Ryan right away. It is a size zero, so it probably will end up with Ryan, but it's this really cool kind of like Y2K elastic, like scrunchy denim mini dress. I just think it's really interesting. And I like to try the Urban when it's a bit more like fun or funky. And that's what this falls under for me. Then we have this really cute sweater. It is by ASTR and it's a medium. This is a puff sleeve, just really nice, like burnt orange kind of brown sweater. I really like these shoulders, the super puffed shoulders. It does need some uh, sweater shaving, but it looks very easy to sweater shave. It also definitely is a wool blend. It's a cashmere wool blend only. 35% cashmere, 65% wool. This is nice. No wonder it feels so nice. Then, this is amazing too. This is so good. <laughs> this is mini Bowden and it is nine to 10 year or youth, maybe your youth. This thing is an iguana t-shirt, but the iguana is completely embroidered in. Every different color, every different part, the eyes, all are like embroidered in. The amount of work for a child's t-shirt is insane. Like marking this high for children's clothes makes sense. Like if you're making stuff like this for kids, I get why you're charging a lot for your kids' clothes because this is wild. This is so Mira Makati to me. I wish this was an adult size and I would keep it. Ryan probably would wanna keep it too. I'm gonna do a couple of my things that I found and then we will finish off with the amazing Stephanie finds because she's an icon and she's amazing. I'm so excited to list this stuff. Okay, so next, really cute Madewell, size medium. It almost looks like clouds, but it's this slub cotton top, blue kind of tie dye, really adorable, love that. This is a really cute J. Crew. I think this is men's. J. Crew outlet size small. It's this color block cotton like quarter button sweater. Really nice colors. Really, really soft and in really good shape. I bet that this is pretty current. It's from 2021, the end of 2021. So yeah, it's quite current too. I just think that that's 
Very cute. Then we have some boy shorts. These are Pacific Cotton. Pacific Cotton is a Bryn Walker brand. Bryn Walker is a really expensive leg and look brand and this is like one of their diffusion lines. But these are really, really cute. They're just some like elastic waistband cotton, kind of like lemon lime colored shorts. So I'm excited to find those. Then we have a new tag piece and this is a great brand too. So it is Garnet Hill. This is a Garnet Hill size large piece. And it is this super freaking cute striped like mini dress from Garnet Hill. It's very like lagging looky, I feel like, but I I like selling Garnet Hill. So finding this in the bins is fantastic. This is another thing that I would totally get at like a consignment store or something like that. Okay, two more things I found and then the rest is all Stephanie. This is a really nice wool coat. The label's actually cut out, but it is a gap wool coat it's this really nice like navy color very just like classic and professional looking and this is from 2016 it is the sb wool coat which i don't exactly know what that means but it has like the gap website listed which oh and it's a medium tall i love that it has the size too i assume this is gap that Gap usually uses a square tag and that's what it looked like was cut out. But I don't know, I just think this is really nice. It's in super good shape. And of course, it's like great for the seasons. And then this is another one by a brand that I usually am not like super pumped about, but it's new with tags. It's a great size and it's really good for the season. It is Old Navy, it's new with tags like I just said, and it's XXL. Super cute, like kind of bomber fall jacket with this hound's tooth print to it. I can tell that it's definitely has some wool in it does not <laughs> it's actually just polyester it is called the bomber in houndstooth it is from 2023 so like how in the world would i not get this so nice like even though it's just old navy it is so nice of course i'm gonna pick that up stephanie gave me the rest of this stuff because she's amazing and i just think she's such a kind human being first up is theory this is a size small theory this is just kind of like a work professional top but i can tell by the label that it is a newer piece so i was very happy to take that off her hands if she didn't want it then we have a set and this set is by anthropology this is anthro size okay the top has the size cut out for some reason but there's by anthro here's the top We've got some flowers, we've got some like berries going on, we've got some palm leaves, we've got some birds, so freaking cute. And the pants are here, so, okay, she really didn't want to have her size in this. I think these are like medium or small. There's the pants by Anthro, and of course, same print. So I don't know yet if these are pajamas or not, they probably are, but they are so cute. And I was so, I was like, Stephanie, yes. Yes, I will take those. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much. And don't worry, it just gets better from there. Next up, we have a cardigan. And this is a cardigan that is an artist collaboration with Anthropology and Pilkro. It is a size small, and it is with Jennifer Simmons. So the front, very unassuming. Very like, oh, like a blue and like chunky kind of sweater. It's got the fun like blue lines on each pocket. We got the blue lines on the sleeves. But then you turn it around and it's a freaking octopus. Like, are you kidding me? What? This is so cute. This is something I would pay up for at like a consignment store. So again, Stephanie, thank you. <laughs> but it just, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. We got two left. Next up. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so the the pajama set's probably a small because all this other stuff is a small. Sundance, newer label, size small. Beautiful, made in India, possibly batik print, cotton dress, ruffle sleeves, sleeveless, so beautiful. Not a mini, not a midi, but a full-blown, full-length, stunning, maxi dress huh this is beautiful absolutely beautiful it has this nice stretchy thick waistband at the middle oh my gosh again i would pay up a pretty penny at a consignment store for this stephanie 
Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Final piece. And yes, you waited and it will pay off. This is Maeve Anthro, size small. Once again, we got a fun, like, just normal, very like unassuming from the front, normal cardigan, like cute. We got red lined pockets. We even have red lines to the cuffs, which I love that detail. The buttons are very nautical with their blue stitching in each of them. But overall, just like, oh, just a cardigan. And then you turn it around. <laughs> And it's a lobster! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Once again, I would pay up a pretty freaking penny at a consignment store or at Goodwill for this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I, I'm gonna start listing this stuff now. Now that I look through this, I'm like, I need to take some pictures and get these posted because whoa. This is a pretty good haul. Yeah, so let me know what your favorite piece was. Once again, thank you so much, Stephanie. So, so much. Thank you so much. When you were there, I had not found anything good. And I was really, really bummed out. I think I'd found the Free People jumpsuit. And like, that's about it for like, what I was actually excited about. When she handed me all this, I was like, it's like a guardian angel showing up to help me out. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you too much, so much to anybody that watched this. Again, let me know what your favorite piece or pieces was. And I'm gonna work my hardest to get these posted soon. If you've been looking for any pants that I have shown lately, they will be showing up this week as well. We finally found our pants hanger. So this stuff will all be slowly going up. If there's anything from the consignment shop with us, that will be going up this next week. I'm just a little bit behind and trying to catch up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys with Ryan on Saturday for a regular What Sold Saturday. Goodbye.